Okay, 3.4 number 27, we have the equation y is equal to r over square root of r squared plus 1. In this case, we don't have x, but the r is just the same as x. Well, get to work. I'm going to write down y prime. And by the look of this, this is going to be a quotient rule situation. So let's choose the quotient rule right away. So I'm going to square my denominator first. The denominator is square root of r squared plus 1. I have to take that and put in the parentheses, square that. And for the quotient rule, what you do is you take the bottom, which is going to be square root of r squared plus 1, and you multiply by the derivative of the top. The derivative of r with respect to r is equal to 1. Then you minus the top function, which is r, you multiply by the derivative of the bottom. You multiply, that, you multiply by the derivative of the square root of r squared plus 1. Right? So what you what you do is, the derivative of the square root of something is going to be 1 over 2 square root of the inside. So it's going to be r squared plus 1, like that. And then, you look at what's inside of the square root, r squared plus 1. And you ask yourself, what's the derivative of r squared plus 1? That's going to be 2r. So you multiply by 2r, like this. Okay? And this is pretty much it, then the rest is the algebra. Let's see. Uh, on this part, I see that the 2's cancel out. That's really nice. And let me write down the next step. On here, I can write this as square root of r squared plus 1. And then here, I together have negative r times r. That will be minus r squared on the top over square root of r squared plus 1. And the denominator is, well, the square root and the square cancel each other out. So I'm just going to end up with r squared plus 1. That's pretty much all we have, because here I have the square root and the square. Square root and the square cancel each other out. And now look at this, and ask yourself, how many fractions do you see? You have a small fraction inside of the big fraction, you have a complex fraction, so the strategy is multiply the top and bottom by the LCD, which is just this. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by square root of r squared plus 1. Do that to the top, do that to the bottom. And then for the top, you distribute, distribute. And let me write down the result for you guys right here. So r square, square root of r squared plus 1 times square root of r squared plus 1, the square root cancels out, you have r squared plus 1, the regular version, and then you minus, and when you distribute this times that, these two cancels, and you just have minus r squared, and minus r squared like that. And on the denominator, you can just put it down as to how it is, parentheses r squared plus 1, and this is square root of r squared plus 1. And we see that on the top I have r squared that cancels out with this negative r squared. So altogether on the top you only have a 1. Altogether on top you only have a 1. And let me just check the answer in the back of the book. How do you want it? Well, let me show you. Here, this is like r squared plus 1 to the first power, but then the square root is like to the half power, so let me just kind of do this for you guys, right? This is like to the half power. So what we can do is the following. On the top, I have a positive 1. On the bottom, it's like saying r squared plus 1 to the first, and the square root is like to the half power. So this is r squared plus 1 raised to the half power like this. And we notice that they are the same base, this and that are the same base. So you can just add the exponents together. This is 1, and this is 1 half. And if you do add the exponents together, this is going to be 1 over, the base is stay the same, r squared plus 1. 1 plus 1 half is 3 half. And the way that they want to do it in the back of the book is, instead of writing down as a fraction, they write it as r squared plus 1, and bring, that, bring the exponents to a numerator, but make that negative, negative 3, half. Job complete.